Hey everyone, we're going to look at vertical versus horizontal tone. Firstly, what is it? What am I talking about? I've never seen it spoken about, but I'm going to talk about it because I think about it. Um, thinner the string, thinner the tone. That's pretty much it. But it also will determine where I want to finish a line. For instance, if I'm playing those th four notes for a solo, whatever. When you change strings, you can lose fluidity, depends on the line you're playing, but you can also change the tone. For me, if I'm playing three notes on that string, and then the last note is on that one, the tone changes maybe too much for what I want to play. So I keep that last note on the same string. So the tone stays the same. So I'm moving this way across the neck, as opposed to this way. Opposed to that. Maybe I want to play that whole thing in a different position. If I play there, it's even fatter sounding. So the tone is bigger, sounds nice. This will depend on what you're playing, what you want to play, what you know. <laughs> you can find these notes though, if you know that group of notes, you can find them somewhere else on the neck with your ears. You don't need to know the scales everywhere. So that's it. That's the idea. So maybe start thinking not so much about scale shapes and positions, just tone, how you want that last note to sound. Because I don't generally like my last note to sound thinner than all the ones that I've just played before it. I want them to sound, I want my last note to be the most important usually. So I want it to sound at least as good as the other notes as far as tone goes. That's it. Just a really short lesson in vertical horizontal tone. That's what I call it. You do whatever you want with it. All right, cool. Hope that's exciting and helpful and new and fantastic. Hit me up for lessons if you want more of that stuff and um, like, subscribe, whatever, and see you in the next one. Cheers.